Tricks. Yo, what is going on? So this one's about vocals. Firstly, as always, we got the G funk beat cranking. What we want to do, as always, in glitch tricks, is make a MIDI pattern. So I've got serum happening here. Um, I do want some kind of bass sound so that it contrasts with the vocals. It's something I've made. Fuck yes, bass sub three. So we're just gonna make a new MIDI pattern. Okay, so once you've got a MIDI pattern down, you wanna bounce it down to audio. So dropping it to a new bass channel. So we're just gonna make a vocal line that kind of goes with it. That'll do. And what I'm gonna do is auto-tune these vocals to make a counter melody. Uh, if you don't know about auto-tune vocals, I'll drop a video in the comments, which will show you how to do that. So yeah, I'm just trying to make, you know, a rough melody, which is in key with the original sound. M bit's a bit shit. Basically what we're gonna be doing is chopping this up and putting it within this original bass source. But before we wanna do that, we wanna add some effects to it. You wanna be stamping the audio with the effects. So a really nice effect that I like for vocals is isotope nectar. <laughs> Once that's in a good enough state, I'm gonna put it into a muted channel and this is pretty much just gonna be somewhere convenient for it to live uh, while we chop it up into the original source. And now, yeah, we're gonna, just gonna chop bits of the vocals and place it over the original bass sound. And now you can chop it pretty heavily. And yeah, you can grab the vocals from wherever and place them anywhere that sounds good. If you really want to get you really want to get surgical and precise, you can loop a little chunk and just go over it till it sounds good. Same with this, so loop a little chunk and that will help you get a little bit that you want. So now what we can do with this is we can do some more glitch tricks. Uh, you can see number two for time stretching. So now what we can do with this is we can time stretch this in half. Now what you can do is grab the whole thing, bounce it to audio, reverse that shit, pitch shift it up an octave, and chop that in. So that's like four tricks in one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, so we can grab little chunks like this, duplicate it, bounce it down, pitch shift it up an octave, chuck it at the end. And then why don't we do that again? So pitch shift it up an octave, chuck it at the end, and one more time. Chuck it at the end. I really like that end bit. There you go, glitching vocals. Uh, the cool thing about this glitch trick is that at the end we combine it with a few others. We First we chopped it with vocals, then we time stretch it, then we pitch shifted it and just blend it together and you just keep going on and on and on. So say we bounce this once more again, just to really drill home the point and then pitch shifted it up again and then time stretched it again and then chuck that somewhere just to get it a little bit mental Check out that bit. So let's just do it one more time. How many times can you do it? You could do it forever. So pitch shift it up. Time stretch it. Chuck it somewhere random. Okay, there you go. Glitching vocals. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying making these videos. I'm going to drop my Patreon link in the comments below. All right, peace out. Oh, <laughs> oh,